Daniel 3.20, Ulaguvrin Gabare Chail Di Vachaile Amar La Kapata La Shadrach Meshach Vaved Nago La Mirme La Atun Nura Yakid Ta. That brings us to Saluk Sof Pasuk. So let's go back to the beginning. We have conjunction Lamed preposition. Gimel Beit Reish. It's a masculine plural noun, which we see from that ending. And we're going to see this word once again right here in this construct that follows. It's the men of might. And this word we're going to see again. So let's keep in touch with that. Here we have the relative marker. And then Beit preposition, third masculine singular suffix, in his army coming up to Zakev Katon. Now, here, like I said, we're going to see that Chayil twice. The first time, it's men of might in this construct, and the second time, that Chayil word is meaning his army. And to the men, the men of might who are in his army. Okay, that's the beginning part all the way to the Zakev Katon. Next up, we have Aleph Mem Resh. It's the Pa'al. Perfect third person masculine singular. And then coming to this Zakev Katon, we have a Lamed prefix. And what do we see with the rest of the word here? We see a Kamitz He ending. And in concert with the double middle radical, we know that this is going to be the Pa'el infinitive of Kaf Pe Tav. Now I just want to pause a moment here to just talk about Kaf Pe Tav. So this is the idea, this root here, about binding. And interestingly, in the biblical Aramaic corpus, it only appears in the GP stem, the pa'il, and the D, which is what we have here, the pa'el infinitive. Now, it's very rare for any verb stem to appear only in a dedicated passive form and not have its equivalent active voice form. So in this case, the G to match the GP. But the attested forms here are GP and D, and this binding idea is only appearing in verse 20, to verse 24 in this chapter in Biblical Aramaic. Now, I'm going to take a pause here because I want to keep what the annotations that we have for the sake of the second half of talking about Daniel 3.20. I don't normally do that, but I'm going to do it this time. So let's read up to this second Zakaf Katon right here. So, and to the men, the men of might who were in his army, he said to bind. And then we're going to come back and get the second half of the verse.